My name is Porter Goodrum. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. I play for Cardiff Met RFC. But Porter Goodrum, a man who's got everything. Pace, power, passion. So Porter, obviously, um, we've got a skate park behind us. Yeah. Uh, do you want to let us know, firstly, just why we're here and your background in skateboarding? Um, well, I don't know. It's pretty interesting, I'd say. I've been skateboarding for nine-ish years on and off. I remember my first uh, training session at Cardiff Met. I actually skateboarded home from it back into the city at the hotel I was staying at. So that was pretty interesting. But no, I love skateboarding. It's always been a part of my life for quite a long time. So what kind of teams did you play for in the States? And then how did you transition then from that to Cardiff Met? Yeah, so playing back in the States was pretty interesting. It was very, it's a very niche sport back there. So. U19 rugby is when I really started to take rugby serious, played uh, for my home club, the Charlotte Tigers. A lot of love for them. They're a great club. And I got hooked up with Eagle Impact Rugby Academy, where I went on tours to Canada, Ireland, Spain, really got to see the world and see what rugby was as a game internationally, which was great. And so when I was doing that, I met a man named Di Morgan, who came to one of my training sessions back in Charlotte and I just talked to him and expressed to him that I was pretty interested in coming over here to Wales and how I really wanted to take my rugby to the next level and then since then just never looked back really. And uh, obviously you've played quite a lot at championship <laughs> level, um, yeah. how have you found that as an experience? Um, it's very tough, very very tough. I had to learn maybe a bit of the dark arts of rugby, definitely playing in the championship especially at the way games, having the fans yell at you, they let you hear it about everything, your hair, your boots your socks, the wrist tape you've got on, all that sort of thing. So it was great playing in the championship, learning all that. You made your Bucks Super Rugby debut this year as well. Um, yes. Against Exeter. I think EC was the co-commentator on that one. He's a great player and um, he's really worked his uh, way up in the at, at Cardiff Met. I think he started on the fours or fives and to see him now on Super Bucks is a um, proud moment. I've seen pretty much every Bucks Super Rugby game since I've been at Cardiff Met. And to actually be on the field, to get supported by the Ultras, have them cheering for you, especially against a team like Exeter, was very tough just because of how good of a side they were. But it was so eye opening. I loved every moment of it. And uh, your first try followed on a few games later yeah. uh, against Swansea. Um, how was that to cross that white line? Uh, that one, that was massive. I was, so, I was so excited for that. I actually scored my first try for Cardiff Met against Swansea in my first year. So getting my first BSR try against them was unreal. And to the Republic, you which is then five. One Nation. Six years. Liberty and justice, justice for all. <laughs> You're not the only American at Cardiff Met. There's a little community of you in sort of an American house. Um, can you just tell us a bit more about the Charlotte <laughs> contingent at Cardiff Met? And EC and Brandon, they're my two housemates at the moment. EC and I have gone to preschool, middle school, high school, and now uni together, which has been insane. But uh, her and I didn't become friends until we actually came to uni, which is pretty interesting since we've known each other, well, known of each other for so long. How have you found living in Cardiff and sort of settling into life here in Wales as well over the last three years? It was definitely hard at the start, just being away from my family and things like that, but having all the Americans around me and being able to lean on them when times got hard and I was missing my family a bit much was really nice. So. I loved, adjusting was hard, but I love it over here. It's so much fun. It's a great experience. Your brother, I understand, is quite a good footballer <laughs> as well. He's dying. Goodrum pulls away. Goodrum's in there. Goodrum with the header. Goodrum with the goal. Him and I have always been extremely competitive. We still are, even when we go back home now, when we gym or train together. It's always who can get one up on the other. And just seeing his journey of where he's gone from high school to uni to now the professionals is just amazing to follow him on that journey. Finally, what does the future hold for Port Goodwin? That is the million dollar question. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not too sure, but I know I definitely want to continue to play rugby. I've been in talks with an agent who thinks that I'll be able to do that back in the States in the MLR. I've been in talks with a few MLR teams about different things, but it's nothing set in stone at the moment, but I would love to represent my country, that would be a dream come true. I'd love to continue sevens, that's what I really enjoy playing, but I'm not too sure, whatever can uh, help me continue to play rugby, really.